Still doing some more recapping still, but we're going to be doing the, the 220 today, so we'll be hooking that up later. No, we're not going to hook it up right now. We're still doing recaps of this radio. Looking good. I'm still marking with some markers. Yeah, we're listening on channel 11 right now. On shortwave radio, you guys hear guys talking. They're hitting skip right now. I'm going to replace one of those caps today. I see the new ones there, the two black ones and the purple one. That one's I replaced so far. The 220 is under that, that board here. Yep, let me show you. This one should be easy to get to. It's right there. That should be okay. I can get it with the pliers. I'm not going to desolder these yet. But I can get to these guys down here, no problem. It's not hard to grab it down there with your hands. That's what I'm going to replace down there. This guy here. And these other ones. The ones that I marked with the dots are I'm going to replace them. That's why I marked those. So we're going to put a short video out here today for this. And that's what we're doing. So I got you guys later. We're still continuing to recap on this radio for a while. But I'm doing what Mike said out there on last night's last live stream. I'm going to do with the marker thing to mark the ones on the back side of the things we're to do so it's great but it's going to take me a while to do this but it's great i've been doing like how i'm doing it using toothpicks or lasers to do that even looking up from the light above your room light that's how i did that today to find each one of this so i'm going to probably be desolder this right right here this one right here that's the one I'm going to be doing today. You guys can see it right there. That's what I'm going to be doing today. Those two black markers. I printed marker those. So this should be good. And I did some other ones a while ago. These are the tough ones I'll be dealing with up here. See. Now those are not mark. The ones I mark is that one right there. There's something connected to a capacitor in that one right there. It's probably around between this area. That's the one I'm looking at here. Between these two. There's something connects to there. And if I have to get in that one, I get a chance. But I'm going to do the easy ones first. So, catch you later. And we'll bring us some more videos sometime soon. This is Foxman 362 World Radio. You can go by UDX 362 on TikTok. And I'm UDX 362 out here in East Tennessee, waving the hands. We're working on this TRC 451 for a while. But I'm doing replacing caps each one each day, but I'm taking my time to do it. So I hope you guys hope me luck on this. But we should be able to do something really good. So I learned from that video from uh, Radio Nut 68 or who he is. I put it down in the description on my other one. So that's where I learned some of it. I have some of those parts I have. We actually had, I pulled them out of old TV boards that actually have some of those. But there's only a few that has. So you're hearing a shortwave radio in the background, the ones you guys seen a while back. So today is April. And our time is 5.36. On a Friday. But it's still chilly outside right now. It's April 7th. So we'll be able to bring out some more videos soon. But we're still working on a lot of stuff here. You guys know that I got some nice stuff out of that. Yep. And that beautiful heat sink right here. That came out of that fridge. The other day. That's going to be well worth to use that for. The stuff I was going to do, but still desoldering that walkie talkie, getting all the components out. It's not my other 
my other two mid lens are still are the ones I have. That was one of the broken mid lens that came with the two walkie talkies last year. So this was one that didn't work when no transmission had received. But this one I'm just soldering all the parts out of it because you guys can see the components. And I got a lot of it out of it. See, I'm still doing that still, recycling these parts for building more, repairing more rails of these. But it, this is the Midland one. But the other two Midland uh, walkie talkies are the same. And those, I'm not going to touch those. This is the one, the broken one didn't work for the transmit, but that's what I do in case something like that. So this is Fox Man 362 World Radio. Hope you guys enjoy this. And we'll probably bring out some more videos sometime soon. I'm going to get ready to work on this for a while. And I'm doing each one each day, but taking my time at this. And using this solder iron. It's pretty a beautiful one. And you can get these. I bought these back two years ago with those. That's how I got the... That's how I used that thing with the... On the quad five when I did. That, that one right there. So this is a good solder iron. This is a pretty decent one. Because I got this from an Amazon... Um, crate deal I found two years ago almost back in 2022 no 2021 it was actually something they, they marked down stuff and I got this solder iron for seven dollars at this deal up in uh, Harriman Tennessee area when I did I think it's called cash and treasure or something like that treasure hunt it's called and I got a good deal on it because all the items like if you have seven dollars in the whole entire pile each one and I found this solder iron so this solder iron is pretty cool and it has a temperature control and all that. You have to heat it between 766 degrees on some of those boards. Some of the ones you have to heat it higher. wish they'd make a high professional solder iron but they're probably all out there. I haven't brought all my solder irons out all yet. I still got a lot more down stairs from since before 2021 but I still have them in a box of one of my other solder irons. So, I'm going to let you guys go. This is Foxmith 362 World Radio. We're going to be working on this recapping for a while. And keep you guys updated what's going on. And probably bring out some more skip videos on Quad 5 soon when you get a chance. Also, I'll show you the new antenna I got during this week. I got this for $20 the other day. $26 I paid for this bad boy. That's the Trim 300. This is my second one. The one's still on the roof, but this was a good deal on Flea Bay. And he marked it back up on price back to $49. And I got it for $26 on sale uh, about four days ago, three days ago. And it was out of Oklahoma. And he's still he's still selling it, but he marked it down for a few days for a couple days and he started marking it back up, marking it back up. And I got this for like $29 on sale. It was like $26 on Flea Bay. And that's a trim 300. These are really good antennas. And that is the one that made 9,000 mile contacts. Even the one you heard on President Grant a while back. This antenna is the one that you hear. But this is a new one. But the one on the roof is the one I bought back and got that back in 2019. And when I brought it to here, ever since I moved to Tennessee, it's been on that roof ever since. And it's also been taken on the car a few times when I tried it. But this one's going to go into my vehicle and probably do some squat call radio skips on my quad five with this too but this is a pretty good deal for 26 dollars you can't go wrong there's nothing bent with this antenna but it's in good shape and this is the kind of antenna you guys should get to start out but i'm still working on my base station antenna still and my beam and i'm still doing all that still but until things get better with the weather and stuff right now today's raining weather and i'm supposed to get a ladder sometime soon when you get a chance to get up in the tree to get that 102 inch um homemade antenna I made a while back and I'm trying to get that straight now and my beam antenna I'm trying to get on that wooden pole to get it up there but I'm still doing all that stuff but this is an antenna I would recommend for people to get and get this trim 300 look it up and they're a good deal they're a good starter and they do very good for export CB radios and even any kind of CB radio with sideband or AM it works but it does better on export radios and ones with sideband and, and old school radios but these are very good mobile type antennas and do very good with skip. This is Foxman 362 World Radio and I go by UDX 362 on TikTok and this is Foxman 362 World Radio on YouTube. So I'll catch y'all later and bring out some videos sometime soon.